So what I've got here is On a Sunbeam by Tilly Walden. Tilly Walden is a very talented graphic novelist. And she writes and draws these graphic novels that are, they're, they're uh, very subtle, emotional and personal stories that I think she draws a lot from her own experiences. I think at least one of these, one of her graphic novels, Spinning, is, is meant to be autobiographical. But, but in this one, on a sunbeam this is a science fiction story and it takes place far off in the future where humanity has spread out across space and there are these like settlements that they they're basically buildings that just float through space and we follow this character named Mia who joins a crew of I guess they're like renovators or construction experts they're basically hired by companies to go to these different settlements some of these settlements are like they're abandoned they're derelict and uh, companies want these places fixed up and cleaned up so that they can be used again so that people can live there again or um, you know sometimes these settlements they become schools or their offices or their residencies um, you know all, all kinds of uses for them so Mia joins this crew and their job is to go out and fix these places up at the same time we also get these flashbacks into Mia's past where she goes to this all girls basically a boarding academy in space of course and it's one of these floating settlements and we uh, we learn about Mia's past where she uh, in high school at this this academy this boarding school she she meets this girl named Grace and they fall in love it's young love it's like they're you know for both of them I think it's like first love and uh, we, we we learn a bit about Mia you know her past what she's really like what she was like when she was younger and we we also flash forward back to the present day when she's with this crew where she uh, she's a little more I guess subdued compared to her her sort of personality back in high school when she was dating this girl and we also start to wonder like well when she's with this crew she joins it by herself so she's obviously not in this relationship with grace anymore so what what happened there and this is a really touching and really beautifully told story about love and connection and friendships that are so strong that they become family because this crew that that Mia joins they're almost like a group of misfits in a way they're just kind of they've all got their troubled past they've got their quirks and uh, very distinct personalities but at the end of the day they they really come together they're they're almost they form this really tight-knit family and the way they interact and where how this is all depicted is so beautifully done by Tilly Walden uh, the way these characters just have each other's backs and support one another even though they they argue and they bicker and they get each other into trouble they've still got each other's backs like family and uh I think for me that was one of the things that stood out for me in this this story this graphic novel now in addition to obviously this story about a relationship there's also this kind of mysterious sector in space called the staircase which uh, there's there's a planet there that has like it's rich with resources but it's a very strange place because the geography shifts it's almost like it's alive um, and it can be quite although it's resource rich and you know it's got air and water it can also be quite toxic and dangerous to human beings and it's it's like very unpredictable uh, so there's this mysterious region of space and it, it figures into the story and I won't, I won't really can't really go further into detail on that because it will spoil a lot of stuff here but um, you know this don't don't be put off by the fact that this is kind of like just a love story i mean you shouldn't be put off by the fact i mean the love stories are great but there's also that very heavy science fiction element here which um you know the the supports the 
the story of Mia and Grace and her this this crew of family that back her up. Well, they and she backs them up. And as the story progresses, you learn more about each of these characters. And honestly, you start to really, really, at least for me, you really get to appreciate these characters and you really like them. Uh, for me, I really liked these characters. And uh, one of the things that motivated me to pick this up was, honestly, it was just the artwork. I looked at this cover, I was looking for something science fiction to read, but not your typical kind of, you know, space aliens and space battle stuff. I wanted something more, um, what's the word? A little more subtle, a little more, a little deeper than that. And I, I definitely got that with this book. It, the, the artwork too, uh, it, it's, Tilly Walden has this very clean line to her style. It, it's, and obviously well, there's there's some manga influence here when you just look at these pages and the way people are drawn and uh, the color palette is so subdued and simple but at sometimes it just really pops like uh, find some of these like when you get some of these space scenes of the environment it's just like the colors pop and it's it's almost like watching in a way it's like watching um you know like a beautiful french animation or an or or a beautiful japanese animation just the, the colors are so bright and they kind of jump back and forth between something very saturated and then something that's very subdued and it, the way she uses color to emphasize moments in her story you know, you don't really notice it, but you feel it, and it adds so much emotional depth to her pages. And of course, the drawing itself is wonderful. Such clean, clean line work, and uh, it's like she can she can convey so much with just a few lines. Like, look at this, you know, Mia's making a face, and it's just like, just that little tick under the 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 lips there you really get a sense of what she's feeling the artwork is is beautiful that's something that really caught my eye and um, makes me come back to this book all the time just to flip through it really i'm going to read it again one day but uh, i just keep flipping through this book to admire the artwork and i love i love this just like clean line work that is I mean, I've said that so many times, clean line work, but there's like, there's like no line variation, but it's just the right amount of detail in the right places, perfectly placed lines. Yeah, it's, it's really lovely to look at. Anyway, uh, this is a book I highly recommend, especially if you're looking for something different, uh, some, you know, Comic, people think comic books and they think superheroes and stuff, Image, Marvel, DC, uh, or horror and, and when these, or you know stuff that's lots of action. This, you know, not so much, but beautifully um, told story about love, about relationships, about uh, friendship and loyalty and grit, perseverance in a science fiction setting with these amazing vistas with beautiful art, beautiful colors. How can you go wrong? So I, I'd recommend this for sure. Uh, this is, there's swearing in here, so not an all ages book. And, uh, but otherwise, yeah, I recommend this book, On a Sunbeam by Tilly Walton. Check it out.